Let's talk about how to do the ideal follow through. Um, first, let's talk about what it should look like and then we'll talk about how to practice it step by step and what I do with people in person when we do it. So, ideal follow through. If I look at a good golfer and I get them into a follow through position, it looks more or less like this, yes? So what is this? Well, starting from the ground up, I have the greater majority of weight on my left foot. Okay, most people, if I have good rotation, will actually be on the outside or, or front part of my left foot. Not a requirement, but just a piece. So I have the greater majority of me, not just pressure in my feet, but actual mass of my body up over my left foot like so. I have my hips tucked forward to the point where if I drew a straight line down from my belt buckle, uh, my hips would be essentially up over my left leg. I've got my chest and sternum forward and I'm fully extended. Now, when we get all the way into a follow through, I'll have my arms also folded up, right? Club kind of across the neck. There's some variables there, but more or less this is what I'm looking for. What are we not looking for in a follow through? I'm not looking for a follow through where my weight hangs back on my right foot. I'm not looking for a follow through where I haven't rotated my body fully. I'm not looking for a follow through anything like this. I am looking for a follow through like this. To keep this simple, um, there's really only a couple of key parts to this. One is going to be the mass of your body being forward on your left side, you physically being forward. That's part one. Part two is going to be the extension part which is I want your hips and your, uh, to be pushed forward, your butt to be tucked under, and your chest back this way, okay? What we don't want in the follow through is this. I don't want this look to it. This look produces no, this is like the 90 year old guy that hits it down the middle of the ferry every time, but he hits it like 100 yards, right? This is no power, no speed. This is what just about every good golfer looks like. So that extension piece, belt buckle forward, chest up towards the sky, sort of like you're, you're, you're sort of extending your thoracic back this way, is part number two. And part number three is the rotation. So when I get done, my right hip and my left hip should be about square to the target, and my shoulders should be about square to the target. Not, I go up and my right hip is back behind my left, and my right shoulder is back behind my left. So, if you wanted to build in a, a follow through that was the best follow through or like the pros or to make you hit it good, you would do all three of those pieces. One more time, your weight would be and pressure and mass would be all the way up over your left leg. You would have extended, which means your hips are forward, butt tucked under, chest up, and you would have rotated fully, hips, shoulders. If you do that, okay, that presets a lot of good things during your downswing. A lot of good teaching professionals I know coach the follow through first and let you build everything behind. I think that's a really, really good idea for a lot of you. And that's how we're gonna do this, okay? So when we start to learn this follow through part, um, we're gonna start from a setup position and learn how to go just from setup into the follow through with no backswing. That's gonna be part number one. And what I mean is this, I take my normal setup, clubs down here by the ball, I'm gonna not make a backswing. I'm gonna go right from here into a follow through and get an idea of what, I'm, what I wanna feel. Now, when we do the drill, you'll notice I'm not going all the way up over here, which you can, okay, we can do that. I like to train it in from here to about halfway into the follow through. From here to about halfway into the follow through. And what am I looking for here? Am I all the way over my left leg, yes or no? Are my hips tucked forward and my chest up towards the sky? Yes or no. Have I rotated fully? Yes or no. How am I gonna know whether I've done this or not? Feedback, okay? We've mentioned the live view golf before a million times. I'm gonna mention a million more times. Now this particular drill, that would be excellent when you hit balls. You could do this with even just a mirror in the beginning. If you had a mirror in front of you and you're watching yourself and you're going into here, now with anything, that only gets you so far. Your return on investment without a golf ball is extremely low, okay? You guys that are doing all these motion drills and practice without a ball, not, not working that good, okay? You have to have a ball in front of you. It can be a foam ball or a wiffle ball, whatever, but a ball there. So uh, meaning when you put the ball there, you can't watch yourself in the mirror. That's where the live view comes in. Okay, link in the description down below. Okay, so we're gonna go from here into here. That's part one, literally just learning this. If you go here, and you're like this, is that good or not? 
everyone together. That is not good. Why is that not good? Well, my hips are back, so I'm not all the way over my left leg. Notice how that goes together. For me to get my whole body up over my left leg, my hips have to go where? Forward or back? They have to go forward, okay? This is my hips back. Notice also because my hips are back, I'm on my right foot. My hips haven't had the opportunity to fully turn on the way through, okay? So you have to give yourself feedback with this stuff. We're gonna go from here into this first, okay? And then gradually we're gonna build. We're gonna go from here and right from there into a follow through. I'm gonna check the same pieces. What am I checking? I'm checking the same three things. Am I all the way up over my left leg? Are my hips tucked forward with extension? Am I fully squared towards the target? Now I'm also going to look at my, my arms here, okay? So when I start to do this, and we'll get into in the extended version how to do the practice, I might go here like this and hit a little shot and then I'm checking, right? I'm checking those three pieces. I would also start to maybe look a little bit at the arm structure, okay? And we'll talk about that more um, in the extended version. So basically that's what I'm going to talk about as we go is, hey, I'm going to start here get there, and then I'm gradually going to add a backswing. I'm going to go from here, okay? So my hands, even with my thigh, club parallel to the ground. I'm going to preset that. I'm going to pause there, like freeze there, okay? When I say pause, a lot of you guys go like this, like I slowed down. No, no, no. I'm here. I'm paused. And then I go back. I'm going to give myself a little momentum, and then I'm going to get to my follow-through. So I want to do as little backswing as possible to build in the follow-through. I'm here, pause little momentum, and then all the way into my follow through. And I'm looking at those checkpoints, start in my over left leg, hips forward, have I rotated, okay? And then gradually I'm gonna go to left arm parallel. So I'm gonna bring this in here, and I'm gonna build that there. Once I can do that, okay, X amount of times, we'll talk about how to do that in a minute, I would go to left arm parallel, give myself a little momentum, and then go here. So that would look something like this. So left arm parallel full freeze, little momentum, and then all the way into my follow through. And that's how I would build in my follow through. Many people have done that. I don't have many people, it works really good. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click that like button down below, click the subscribe button, and also leave a comment down below. It really helps us out. The more interaction there is between us, YouTube likes that, sends our videos out to more people, really helps us. If you wanna support the channel, you can do uh, click that little like button down there. Uh, appreciate that. If you do like these YouTube style videos, we're gonna put a card on the screen for a very similar video like this. If you wanna hop over to Cogorno Golf, check that out, see what it's all about. Work with me so I can help improve your golf game. We'll also put that on the screen. Thank you guys for watching.